Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. I want to want to talk a little bit this morning about uh, baleage. Um, getting more and more phone calls about baleage and tips and do's and don'ts and what should I do for my operation on all this stuff. So you know, and there's another video out that I've got out, uh, a couple of them about different things, but. Um, we're looking at the end of a bale of cereal rye. Um, this rye was baled a little bit later than I like for it to be. Um, I like I like rye for a cover crop. So therefore when we seed it, it kind of bleeds over into what we're going to cut for baleage. And when we're planting it, you know. So anyway, we end up with some rye and it's very sensitive, very sensitive on when we need to harvest it. It needs to be harvested in the boot stage and, and to get right down to brass tacks, it's about three days uh, of, of optimum protein levels. Uh, that stage is very short and in my experience it is extremely difficult to get the weather in my part of the country to, to work out right. To harvest that in those three days so this went a little bit far i'm sure the protein level is down we're feeding it the cattle love it they absolutely love it and, and there's no no doubt about it so it's still good stuff it's just a shame we couldn't catch it when we need to be so that's tip one when you're dealing with rye or when you're picking a crop um, we like wheat best because we raise wheat i've got ben run wheat we just you know we've got our seed covered you know so that's that's a plus, and then uh, and of course the window of harvest is much longer, and, and it's and it's and it's good feed as well. But uh, anyway, um, that's tip one. Tip two this morning, you see this plastic. This is where we've been, you know, just cutting the, the plastic open and getting the bales out and feeding them. Um, uh, this is about as far as you need to go before you get that up. I would suggest about every four bales. Um, uh, you know, if you feed more than that a day, then get it up every day. But uh, we've gone here, I think it's uh, uh, two days, which you see here. Um, but this plastic is heavy, it's cumbersome, it holds water, it freezes to the ground uh, because it does hold water. And it, you just need to get it up and put it on a dumpster and be done with it. it it's, I hate fooling with it, I'm going to tell you. It's a negative of the, of the process, and I hate it. But anyway, that's the way it is. So that's tip two. Um, just as a note here, you will notice, and I'm really bad when I'm videoing something of looking at what I'm doing and not looking through the viewfinder, so I'm going to try to do a better job. But you will notice there is zero spoilage on this bale. If this was dry hay, especially a, a small grain that was baled, and like I said, this was baled in April, so and it's it's now what the 19th of December or something. So you you'd have a you'd have a what I call a cap. You'd have about two inches of waste all the way around it. You know, there's there's no waste here. There's no mold. You will see that the the inline bale wrapper did its job. It pushed all the air out of it. So we don't have any mold. We've talked about this before, but these bales are net wrapped. You can, you can obviously see that. And that lays all these little stems down, all these little stems right here. If this was twine, where well, the twine would pull down like here. And then the next twine, you know, would probably be further than that, but we're just going to use the next one over on the net wrap. All this in here would be a bulge up, and it would have little prickly things setting up. That tends to penetrate the first layer of plastic. So you end up putting more plastic on to get it to seal. So your cost goes up. And natural twine now is absolutely out of this sight and cost. So you'll find out if you'll crunch the numbers and manage your net wrap right. Net wrap is as cheap, if not cheaper right now, than twine. So um, if you've got a net wrap baler, uh, you, you need to put that in there when you're working on your baleage. Okay? Now, these bales were baled with over-the-edge net wrap. See it come in here and roll that over? The next bale over here come in here and roll that over? That's great. 
for dry hay, that's great. I, mean, I think they make beautiful bales. Come out to Baylor and feel. I mean, they're so neat looking. There's no, there's nothing setting up on the end or anything. It just rolls it over. It makes such a neat little package, and that's great for dry hay. But look what it did here. Look, look at the, look at the that the the, the V that it left. Because when that inline wrapper comes along, it's going to lay that plastic over there, and it's going on to the next bale. So what it has to do, that plastic has to roll over in here you know and then walk up and then roll and, and it and it end up has a tendency to leave an air pocket and you'll t have a tendency to get some mold in here okay now if you put it when the loader driver putting it in your inline wrapper if he will pay attention and learn how to set it in there and it's pretty obvious i don't need to go into that it's pretty obvious when you set it in there that it's that it's you know that it's sitting flat it's not cocked down or cocked up or something you know it's sitting flat with the other bale it will help this process now let me show you the very next bale look how much nicer that is it still has it still has over the edge net on it but the bale was set in here just right and you can see very very little let's let's pull that back like you you you, you see up here very little tra uh difference in contour over the transition very smooth okay so that's that automatically is going to make no air the plastic is going to fall right in there and see let off push the air out which is what you want on your baileys okay so it, it's not that it can't be done without that trough that we saw in the other bale but but it's very much harder to do. The 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 pressure on the on the inline wrapper has to be correct. The loader operator has to put it in there flat with the bale that's already in the, in the, in the wrapper. So it's it's a little little more intensive. It's a little more to it. And and you know how it is. You get fatigued. You know, cab tractor, late in the afternoon, the sun's in your eyes. You can't see as good as you did in the morning and this type of thing. And then all of that factors in. So you can you can see now this, my wrapper did an excellent job because I still don't have, in this particular joint, I still don't have any mold. Okay? But anywhere you've got an air pocket breeds for mold and we don't want that. Okay? Now, if you're using a single bale wrapper this over the edge net wrap works really well because it rolls that over and when you're wrapping that plastic on it it actually, it actually helps the situation so if you're using a single bale wrapper my suggestion is that you use over the edge net wrap in other words if you're using a four foot wide bale use a 51 inch net wrap okay and it'll roll that edge over and then when that plastic comes because the plastic is going to be going over this way this direction rather than rather than this direction with an inline wrapper so inline uh, I like to use to the edge net wrap single bale wrapper I like to use over the edge net wrap most of the time it's the same price now why this is done this way is because we were the net wrap was in the machine and we were in a hurry and, and we know how to manage it so we just continued on. And, and I stock net wrap, I sell net wrap and I have to stock what my customers want and just about all of them want over the edge now because most of them, by far the majority are dry hay customers. Okay? We've got more than that when we have people that wants to put up quality feed anymore. So, just a little tip here. To the edge net wrap if you're using the inline wrapper. Over the edge net wrap if you're using a single bale wrapper, and you'll find out you'll you'll eliminate this mold mold issue. Now I don't have the mold here. I don't have. I'm I'm real proud to say that I don't have an example of that today. I'm sure. I don't remember the count, but it's five or between five and six hundred bales of baleage here in this staging area, and somewhere in there there are two bales that you're going to see a mold a film of mold in here it's not very deep it's not a big deal it won't hurt the cattle we're not far from virginia tech i talk with them often they said hey it's not a problem i know you don't like it i know you don't want it try to eliminate it it's not the best 
but it's not going to hurt anything. So it's not a, a showstopper. It's just a negative. We don't want negative. We want positive. We want we want everything pulling our direction. We want to turn a dollar's worth of hay, you know, into two dollars worth of beef. You know, that's that that's our goal. So just a few tips uh, help you out. Nothing earth shattering, but every little bit helps. You know. Anyway, y'all have a blessed day. We'll talk with you next time.